Gentlemen, and welcome to the Village of Bartlett Board Meeting for December 19, 2017. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. Trustee Kimmer? Here. Carbonell? Here. Daney? Here. Cabrena? Here. Hopkins? Here. Rinky? Absent. President Wallace? Here. We have um, Pastor Andrew Weiss from Faith World Outreach to do our invocation this evening. Pastor Weiss? Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight very grateful for the blessings you've given us in our community, Lord. And we come before you, especially in this season, we ask for your safety and your protection and your peace on all those who serve here in our communities and in the people of this wonderful community. Tonight, we ask for your guidance, for your wisdom, for your peace and your direction and your presence in this place tonight and everything discussed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Weiss. Merry Christmas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make sure the chair doesn't get here. <laughs> the summer doesn't get here sooner. I'm going to run out of pants to wear. Uh, next brings us to the uh, consent agenda this evening. And all items listed on the, on the agenda with an asterisk will be considered enacted in one motion. There will be no separate discussion on those items. Um, as, at this point, does any board member wish to add anything to the consent agenda? I'd like to add item F1. Okay. There's a suggestion to add the Invest in Cook Grant for Design Engineering Contract Award we've discussed before. Is there any issues with that? Anything else? Yes, I'd like to add E1 since the uh, contract came in under budget. Which one? E1. One. One. Okay. Any other questions, issues with that? We can't add the uh, tax levy or the obligation to make it, can we? No, that's, we so. cannot. No, I know that, but I thought I'd ask. Hearing nothing on uh, a dispute about that, I will uh, con entertain a motion to amend the consent agenda to include the following. The board and committee minutes from December 5, 2017. The bills list from December 19, 2017. The consent will also include um, under planning and zoning committee 2018 annual meeting schedule. The consent will also include under finance and golf committee um, Lauterbach and Amon um, auditor extension. The consent will also include under license and ordinance committee um, adoption of anti-harassment, anti-discrimination policy ordinance, the NSSEO open burn request at Sunrise Lake. A consent will also be adding uh, under Police and Health Committee, the contract for purchase of furniture, furnishings, and equipment for the new police facility. The consent will also include the sale of surplus personal property owned by the village on eBay, on eBay ordinance. So moved. Second. Second. Moved by Trustee Hopkins, seconded by Trustee Carbonero. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Cabrera? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Hammer? Yes. That motion carries. Now I'll entertain a motion to approve the amended consent agenda. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Carbonero, seconded by Trustee Daney. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Daney? Yes. Cabrera? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. That motion carries. That brings us to our treasurer's report this evening. Mr. Treasurer? Thank you. Uh, tonight in your packet is a, a treasurer's report for October, uh, the six months into the year. We will be doing a um, more detailed six-month review later on in the committee meeting. Uh, also included is the motor fuel tax report. For the month of September, we did receive 79500 Twenty-seven dollars, which was up just four ninety-five from the previous uh, year, same month. Also included is our sales tax report, two hundred and fifteen thousand three hundred twenty-eight. That was up five thousand three hundred ninety-eight from the same month prior year, up uh, two and a half percent, which is uh, pretty close to what we budgeted, extra two and a half percent this year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Treasurer. Next item on our agenda this evening is President's Report. The only thing under President's Report is I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year, as we won't be meeting again until Thursday, by a reminder. Um, 
our next meeting won't be Tuesday. We moved it to Thursday because I know you guys didn't want to come out on the 2nd of January. I didn't anyway. So that is it for the treasurer or the president's report. Is there any questions anyone has? Staff? I just want to make one comment. Uh, thanks for f fixing that pothole at uh, West Bartlett Road in 59. Sleep better now with no, my wife is happy. She's happy. You're right. I can sleep better. If there's nothing else, we'll move on to town hall portion of the meeting this evening. Town hall portion allows anyone who'd like to address the, uh, the, the board to step up to the podium. Um, please state your name and address for the record and try to keep your comments to three minutes. Good evening. I'm Joseph Olson. I live at 1117 Independence Drive. In February, I will have been a Bartlett resident for 40 years. I want to start with where I live. I live at 1117 right across the street from 1116 and 1120, which on the 10th of this month saw SWAT units blocking my driveway, stacked up in front of 1116 with assault rifles and the whole bit. Apparently this incident started at something like 5.20 in the morning and concluded about 10 something in the F later. Even though I live directly across the street, the only notice I got of what was happening was the automated call that went out at 8 something. I have neighbors who the police knocked on their door at 5.30 in the morning. After this concluded, and the police left the neighborhood without ever coming to my door to tell me what had happened, I called the police department and asked to speak with the chief. He wasn't available. I spoke with the deputy chief. I was not happy with his response. And I asked him on that day to have the chief call me. Ten days later, today's date, he never called me back. I do not believe that public servants should treat residents in that fashion. That should be subject to that person's evaluation. They did approach me after I spoke earlier this evening with three council people to try to apologize. I'm not accepting apologies for that kind of behavior. I still don't know what happened. And I don't know that we're safe in our homes because although there were weapons supposedly involved in this incident, we don't know whether those weapons were confis confiscated or not. I'm very concerned, citizen. Second issue I have has to do with late billing for water and sewer. You know, when we got our bill for November, in my case, it came on the 8th of December, in the red ink on it, it says, you may not have received your October bill, bill, bill from November. That happens. That's unfortunate, but then a week after I received that, I received a letter from your 
director of finance saying, hey, you haven't paid the bill. We're going to shut you off if it's not paid by the 1st of January. Quite frankly, there is no common sense in that kind of letter going out, and I have no respect for your director of finance. If he exercised good judgment, those letters would not have gone out. I value my 800 plus credit score, and I do not appreciate that kind of behavior on the part of people whose salaries come from my taxes. Thank you for being here, Joseph. Anyone else like to address the board at this time? Hearing none, we'll move on to the standing committee reports this evening. First standing committee report is under planning and zoning. Chairman Hopkins. Thank you, President Wallace. Uh, the Item A1 was covered under the consent agenda tonight. That's all we have. Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. Next standing committee report this evening is under building committee. Chairman Gabrenya. Thank you, Mr. President. We have no report this evening. Thank you, Chairman Gabrenya. Next standing committee report is under finance and golf committee. Chairman Daney. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. The uh, first item we have on our agenda is the 2017 property tax levy appro uh, approval. And uh, I'd like, Todd, if you'd be so kind. Yes. Th thank you, Chairman Dean. We did um, discuss the proposed levy. We had the property tax hearing. We uh, set the estimated levy, and tonight is just the final step in approving, uh, improving the levy ordinance, and then it will be uh, filed with the counties uh, immediately after this meeting, this week. Third week in December, right? Or fourth week? Well, it needs to be filed by the last Tuesday in December. Last Tuesday. Which is uh, the day after Christmas, which is a week from today. So we're kind of tight this year. Uh, we will be moving the schedule up a little next year. Good. I make a motion. Sure. I motion. Uh, I move to approve ordinance number 2017. 158. One what? 158. One, 158. An ordinance for the levy and assessment of taxes for the uh, general corporate and other purposes of the village of Bartlett, Cook, DuPage, and King Counties, Illinois, for the fiscal year beginning May 1st, 2017 and ending April 30th, 2018. Second. It's moved by Trustee Danny, seconded by Trustee Kammer. Is there any discussion? With a 1.55% increase, would you consider that levy flat as far as there's really not much of an increase? Yes, the, the corporate levy is flat. The actual, we're leveling the actual same amount as we did last year. What, what has increased a little is the property taxes and the pension, pension part of it. All right. Thank you. Anything else? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll. Trustee Cabrania? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. That motion carries. Okay. Next item we have on our agenda, Mr. President, is 2017 general obligation abatements. And again, I'm going to ask Todd if you'd give us a little background. Thank you. This year we only have one abatement, that's to the 2017 refunding bonds that we just, we just refunded uh, for, the, for the fire station. And this is, the, this, this is being abated for the portion that the fire district pays that is outside of the village boundaries and also the portion that the TIF district pays. Any questions? Yeah, move. I move uh, to approve abatement ordinance 2017-159, an ordinance providing for an abatement of $73,812 for the 2017 general obligation bonds. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Is there any discussion? Will we have any more payments for the fire station beyond this? They, they make annual payments. Okay. Yeah, they, they make about, about the same amount. So it, it, it boils down to about 13% of the debt service. Thank you. Anything else? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll. 
Trustee Hopkins? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Cabrinha? Yes. That motion carries. Mr. President, the third item we had on the agenda this evening is the Lauder, Bach, and Amen LLP auditor extension. That was a consent item and it's been approved. And that concludes what we had on the committee agenda for this evening. Thank you, Chairman Daney. Next committee, uh, standing committee report is under license and ordinance. Thank you, Mr. President. Everything under license and ordinance committee was covered under the consent agenda tonight. Thank, Thank you, you, Chairman Kammer. Next on the standing committee reports is police and health committee, Chairman Carbonero. Thank you, Mr. President. Both items were covered under the consent agenda. Thank you, Chairman Carbonero. Next on standing committee reports is public works committee, Chairman Ranke is not present this evening. I've asked Chairman Hopkins to stand in for him. Thank you, President Wallace. F1 was covered under the consent agenda, and that's all we have. Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. That concludes our standing committee reports. And uh, next item on the agenda this evening is new business. Does anyone have any new business they'd like to discuss? We need to play some Christmas music in here or something. This is an awfully quiet boardroom this evening. Hearing none, we'll move on to uh, questions. Anyone have any questions? I have Final a comment before we adjourn. I have a question. Um, I know we had um, IDOT in here not too long ago to talk about the 390 extension and possibly connecting it into North Avenue. I was wondering, have they finalized any other plans yet? I know three trustees had some serious concerns with their plan as it was written. So I was just curious if what's going on with that? No, no, it has not been finalized, and we're still discussing it. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Any other comments? We'll be moving directly into the Committee of the Whole meeting following the adjournment, and with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammerer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Brenya? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. We are